Hi guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a sublimation bleach video today. So it's been a while since I've made one and I am super, super pumped about this one. So not only am I going to show you guys how to make this amazing stand for bleaching your t-shirts, I'm also going to show you guys how to use a paintbrush and bleach to get that perfect outline every single time. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, first off, you're gonna notice that my husband's using our saw to cut down this PVC, but you definitely don't have to do this. You can just get some PVC cutters, as you see up in the corner. Um, those are like $15 and you can do it by hand. For today's project, we use four of these elbow tees. So these are three fourths PVC. And then we also used four elbows. These are 90 degrees elbows. So we had four of these three fourths as well. Now we used three fourths PVC that was schedule 40, but you could use schedule 80 and it's gonna be a lot more sturdy. So all my husband's doing is measuring everything down and cutting all of the pieces. For the bottom, you're gonna need two of the three fourths elbows with no threads, make sure these have no threads. You're gonna need two of the elbows with a T, and then you're gonna to need to cut down two pieces that are 20 and a half inches, and you're gonna need two pieces that are 32 inches, and that's gonna create the bottom base. So now he's working on cutting down the sticks um, that are gonna be the, the height of it, and then as well as the top piece. So for the height, um, we went ahead and just, I did it to like my waist, so that was three foot high, so those two sticks are three foot. And then for the top part, they are 20 and a half inches, you're gonna need two of those, and then 26 inches by two as well. So at first we made it a little bit longer as you can see here, so this is a little bit longer. Um, this would have been the same size as the bottom, but we decided that was hanging too much, and it was obviously way too big anyways. Um, we just kind of mismeasured and wasn't thinking when we first slid the t-shirt on. So he's just taking the part now, and he's adding sand to the bottom. So he added a small piece here to the side, and he's just using that to filter in um, some sand so we bought one bag you don't have to do this this is just gonna help weight it down so the wind or anything like that but you definitely do not have to do this this is really just gonna help give it some more support so he's just got that stick in there like I said the stick the PVC and he's filling it with sand using a funnel and we just got a cup he's just filling it as much as he can he's just filling the base so once he's got that ready to go he's just gonna go back in and stick the two um, height ones that are three foot so he's gonna go ahead and stick both of those back in like so and he was using a piece of PVC to hammer it in too so super easy project you could glue it down if you want to keep it like this if you want to take it apart to be able to store it because you could take the top off the, the the stand part and then the bottom and store it nice and easily and pop it back together so the bottom has sand you can just keep it just like that and the sand's not going to come out so what he's doing is he's going back and cutting those down like i said the 26 inches instead of the 32 for the top part and this was so much better so it didn't have so much overhang the sand really helped weigh everything down so now all you have to do is slide on your trash bag so you're just going to slide on a trash bag this is going to help you not bleach the back of your t-shirt and then you'll just simply slide on your t-shirt and i love that you can stand and have the stand against your stomach that helps support it and then we just cut a piece of the pipe and put some edging in there um, to help it sit on the pipe so that way it holds it up and, and stabilizes it a little bit more so this is how you could create a single stand to get you up off the ground and make your life so much easier for bleaching these t-shirts so let's go back to the craft room i'm going to go ahead and prep up a t-shirt so you can see here i'm using my a to z heat press which i absolutely adore links down below so i'm pulling out the moisture these are soft styled heather make sure they're heather uh gilded so gild i'll have those linked down below as well so i'm going to take my sublimation design i printed this out on 11 by 17 so i blew it up as big as i could um, and then I'm just covering it with a piece of baking sheet. I'll have this link down below as well. I've been buying those, it's like 400 count from Amazon. These are just baking sheets. So I'm gonna go ahead and sublimate this for 60 seconds at 400 degrees. And in case you guys are wondering, I'm using my Sawgrass SG-1000. I absolutely love it for doing these big, big designs. All right, so all I'm gonna do is go ahead and remove that sheet of paper. Now for this project here, you could just leave it like that if you wanted to. Obviously, if you've been doing bleach t-shirts, you already know how to do this process. So I've went ahead and threw in a pressing pillow because I've got some seams I'm gonna work with. I'm gonna add Boss Babe down here, kind of catty corner a little bit at the bottom of the t-shirt. Covering it again with a baking sheet, and I'm gonna press again 60 seconds for 400 degrees. 
um, and then we'll wrap up the t-shirt. I also wanted to mention that I got my inspiration from Nerdy Red Designs. She actually has a four t-shirt stand. So definitely go check out her Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. I'll have her link down below to go see what her stand looks like. All right, so we've got our t-shirt sublimated. Now you're just gonna come back. I've already got the trash bag. You're just gonna slide this on. This one was a little bit more tight compared to the first shirt we did with that was black was Bella Canvas, but it's no problem, went on there nice and great. So I slid this on here. By the way, this is a medium. So you're gonna be able to do your large, extra large, all of the things. You can make these whatever size you need. So you're gonna take some paint brushes. I've got some super cheap ones that were like 98 cents. You're gonna get this little paint bucket here, get them at your um, like Lowe's or you know home store. I've got Clorox bleach and you're just gonna put it in the bucket just a little bit and you're just gonna paint it on. That's the trick, like, wow, I wish I would've known this like forever ago. So you're simply just gonna paint it on. You're gonna go like a nice outline. You could do the whole border if you wanted to at first, go all the way around and you don't need to like soak your brush. You're gonna dip it in and kind of wipe off your sides and then you're just gonna act like you're painting and you can see what part is wet. Super easy, you're not over bleaching at this point. Your trash bag is protecting the backside of your t-shirt. It's absolutely genius. I'm super sad that I didn't discover this myself. So um, I'm really, really excited. So you're just gonna completely paint over it. Like I said, just feel like you're painting. You can see where you're at. It's super cool. Now, the really cool thing is you're gonna see me here in a minute at the bottom. You could do all sorts of techniques. You could take your brush, like right now I'm going around kind of more in a circular um, outline to keep it nice and clean cut, but you could get as messy as you want to, or you could create some really cool brush strokes, which I will do here in a second with the boss babe, you'll see that. So you can create all sorts of different ways, but you're just gonna completely keep going over it until everything is soaked. Now, as you can see, I moved this over over to the sun by the way guys because the sun is obviously what's going to speed this up i didn't even have it on this thing not even probably five minutes and i had it boom out and i rinsed it in some cold water a little bit of soap to get it to um to stop going i would have thrown it in my wash but my wash is broke so um really excited so you see those paintbrush effects on that boss babe on each side you can see those now i'm just taking and i'm slinging the uh the bleach on here to get some of those really cool splatters and I don't have to worry about it going through the back side of my t-shirt I'm protected with the trash bag um, and you could keep that trash bag on there over and over and over again you could wipe it down if you want to um, so it's really exciting so as soon as this one's done all you got to do is simply peel this one off and boom pop on another one you could set this over on the porch let it kind of keep doing its thing or drop it in a bucket of cold water so as you can see it's doing its thing it's looking good um, once again you see those brush strokes i think that looks really neat as well so possibilities are endless with this guys i hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please hit the like button down below and subscribe and i'll see you guys on the next one